At last year's election, the national government recognized the Southern District of Auckland as a significant crime spot. It promised to allocate 300 more officers in the county's Manukau area by the end of 2010. While the police are busy dealing with the current fallout from social problems, other community members have been focusing on treating the cause. In Red Hill, Papakura, the recently opened Red Hill Community Centre has been designed to provide support for families in the area. The centre is, is a family centre, uh, it's a youth centre, it's an activity centre, it's an entertainment centre. Reverend Edgar Hornblow is secretary for the Papakura Community Trust and also a leader of the Papakura Wesleyan Church. He was one of the first church members who felt inspired to start a community outreach in Papakura eight years ago. I realised that if we were going to make any significant impact upon the community, we had to uh, uh, interface with the community in a whole different way. So we, we felt that if it was possible to uh, try and offer programmes and opportunities, activities, which would get some of the teenagers off the street, would be able to try and lift the, uh, the quality of ma marriages to give resilience to families. So we're trying to reach the families, basically, particularly those that haven't got other resources to which they can uh, uh, turn to. Special features of the building include an indoor basketball court, 10-metre rock climbing wall, two family cinemas, and a cafe. While the community centre offers a structured and supervised place for youth to meet, it is also a base for social work among families. Kathy Sassoli is one of the centre's social workers. There is a lot of um, families that are in like financial dire straits who just can't survive. And that actually induces a lot of stress, a lot of uh, negative parenting that, that happens because parents are highly stressed. So there can be a lot of malnutrition happening because they aren't eating properly. Um, parents, when they're at the, the ropes end, they tend to not discipline appropriately. So we like to provide a place for people to come to to feel accepted and non-judgmental. We, we don't judge any families um, when they come in. Any of the kids that are going through rough times, some parents feel really embarrassed about that and so don't want to come in while their kids are like that, but we're actually telling them, no, you need to come because that, this is the way that we can help you through it and you know we can show your child that that's not okay and this is what we do instead and so we can model good parenting. A significant contribution to establishing the centre came from the Papakura District Council. We made a presentation to them at their council meeting to become part of the district plan. Now that was different from just going to the council and asking for uh, a little bit of money. We actually went to them and said we want to be part of the whole council district plan. Owen Pringle is the Red Hill Ward representative on the council. What it's going to do for our district, and I mean our district, not just for the Red Hill area, I believe is outstanding. I think it's one of the most um, brilliant projects that our district has ever had in, in its, its total history. It's an investment, it's a huge investment on people, and uh, I guess in life, you know, that's people really matter the most. With the combined efforts of concerned community members, qualified social workers and government officials, the centre is already proving to be a significant presence in Papakura. I think the most lasting effect is that, as you'll see from the activities that go on here, uh, the children that we're seeing transformed are actually passing on the uh, experiences and the behaviour that they learn to their parents. I really want to see that these children have a chance to fulfill what they were born to do, you know, really reach their potential, really go beyond what their parents have been able to so far. 